an engineer is considering running for office, I would encourage them to just uh, find a place where they can serve. It doesn't have to be Congress, uh, and it doesn't have to be some long-term ambition, but we need people to serve at all levels. I believe politics and government are most effective when it's closest to the people, and there's a way that engineers can make a huge impact in their community by serving on school boards, on quorum courts, on uh, city councils, or even just with volunteer uh, groups. Uh, but I encourage engineers to get out and serve and to give back to their communities and their state and even maybe their country. And really didn't give politics a lot of thought until my kids got into school and I was asked to run for the school board. So uh, I got on the local school board where I was able to use some of my engineering abilities there to help. We were in a uh, phase where we were doing some new projects at the school and my engineering background really helped out with that. And then from there, uh, I was asked to uh, consider running for the state legislature. Did that, became the first Republican uh, majority leader since Reconstruction in Arkansas. And then the next thing I knew, I was running for Congress and, and here I am, serving in Washington, D.C. So it wasn't really a path that I had plotted for my life, but it was when opportunities came along and I just uh, took advantage of those opportunities. Well, licensure is, is vital, I think, from a professional standpoint, uh, you know, just to have that um, as part of your credentials. And But from a public standpoint, I don't think a lot of people realize that engineers have a, a code of conduct. We even have a, a creed that we're supposed to abide by. And licensure is really to protect the public. You know, engineers deal with things that protect uh, the health and safety of the public. So it's critical that there be a, a good licensure program it's critical to give the public um, confidence in what engineers are doing, and it's good that uh, you don't allow people to do engineering work that aren't engineers. And it's very important for, uh, for engineers, for organizations like NSPE that engineers support, uh, to be involved in the political process. Being a member of Congress, being on a school board, being in the state legislature, uh, you can be a voice for the profession just in doing your job because you understand the profession, you understand um, the public safety aspect of it. I think of an example when I was in the state legislature, a bill came before a uh, committee that uh, they wanted to make it where you didn't have to have an engineer stamp on a building if the cost of the building was less than a hundred thousand dollars, which is totally in violation of the, the reason why you have licensure, the reason why you have um, have an engineer stamp in the first place is because you want to protect the public safety and it's not a dollar amount that makes something safe or unsafe. So being an engineer I think gives you a unique perspective on what uh, uh, the reason behind some of these codes and regulations. Me being an engineer, 90 plus percent of the issues that I deal with are not related to engineering, but I still uh, deal with all those issues. And what I learned in training as an engineer and in practice as an engineer though, uh, is important in addressing all those issues and I think engineers bring a unique problem-solving um, set of skills to the table that uh, a lot of people don't have. I think the, the engineering profession is one that's very well respected and when somebody calls up and says, you know, I'm an engineer, here's an issue that's happening in my area, I wish you would look at, uh, at this side of it. I think that's very important. I know what it's like to be working as an engineer, working 50, 60, 70 hours a week sometime, you're engrossed in a project and it's easy to let the rest of life just, just go by and not pay any attention to it. And the next thing you know, there's some big issue out there and you think, how did that happen? Well, it happens because people are too busy making a living, raising their family, uh, being good citizens from, from one standpoint, but not paying attention to the things that are going on. So I just encourage all engineers to use the talents and the abilities that they've got to analyze the political process and to get involved. You know, the expression, you've heard it said before that uh, architects are about form and engineers are about function, but I think engineers are a lot more creative uh, than, than folks give them credit for. And one of the frustrating things about serving in Congress is things move so slow. As an engineer, I'm seeing all these issues out there and I come up with these ways that, um, you know, we could solve this problem if, the, if we would just do this. It's uh, invigorating from a standpoint that you see all these issues and you come up with all these ideas and ways to, to fix the ideas but it's frustrating from a standpoint that it takes so long to, to make change. But uh, patience really is a virtue. It's something that I have to work on every day. And you have to look at the, at the long game. You have to realize that uh, it took a, a long time for our country to get in the position that we're in right now. 
Um, some of it's obviously great, some of it's not so great. And anytime we change things in this country, it takes time. You know, I have to work every day at, at being patient, but staying creative and staying energized about the job that I do. You gotta stay persistent.